Kuya Quattro. This video has a comfort rating of light for a little VR motion, but you should be all right. For maximum immersion, if you're able to, try standing while watching. What's up, y'all? This is Coach Ian. I've been a boxing coach for over a decade. I just want to introduce you to the sweet science of boxing. If you've never boxed before, a little intimidated, don't worry, I got you. We have some intro level workouts and exercises that we can get you into before we get into the real stuff. Come check it out. All right, so first, we're gonna start out with some warm up. We got Justin here, jumping rope. In boxing, we have three minute rounds, all right? One minute rest. So when you are warming up, you're getting the body, body warmed up, blood flowing, staying on your toes. If you messes up, it keeps moving. That's everything in boxing. You wanna train the way you're gonna perform in the ring or hitting the bags, hitting the mitts. So right off the bat, get the body warmed up, prep for that. So now we're gonna go ahead and wrap Justin's hands. If you've never had your hands wrapped, you can usually get some boxing gloves and they come with a pair of hand wraps. Starting out, you're gonna have to have somebody help wrap your hands. So everybody's fighting skill and experience, you might need more padding on the wrist, more padding on the knuckles. So once you start hitting the bags, hitting the mitts, you might have to cater towards the knuckles or the wrist. But all in all, you just wanna make sure that you have a nice, secure um, wrist, knuckles, and fingers. Go ahead and make a fist. How's that feel? Good. Cool. All right, now that we have the hands wrapped, we're ready to go. Justin's now jumping into the shadow boxing. Getting that boxing stance, facing the mirror. Now he can see as if he's fighting an opponent. You wanna be looking into the mirror. It's pretty much as if he's fighting an opponent, hitting the nose, hitting the chin. What you see in the mirror is what you wanna hit. Nothing is too, too intense. Speed impresses, accuracy kills. Working the jab, the cross, the hooks, and the uppercuts. Just making sure that what he sees in the mirror is how he is gonna fight. So if his hands are down, he sees that and he can make those adjustments right off the bat. All right guys, now we're getting into mitts, or we have paddles. So with the paddles, we're basically looking for targets, all right? And we're not gonna be just playing around and shortening his punch. When he's doing the mitt, when he extends his jab out, I want full extension. His punch is keeping the opponent further back. When we start shortening those punches, and I'm making him work less. That means his opponent is coming up closer, a little more dangerous. So we wanna work on extension, seeing those targets. Speed impresses, but accuracy kills. So I'm just gonna have him find his range. His range is his jab. I always like to say the jab is like the blind man's walking stick, all right? So he's getting his range. Jab, 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 double jab, jab, cross, roll, hook. Make it an uppercut. Yep, jab, cross, uh, cross jab, roll left, give me the jab. Perfect. And you see his hands are up, ready to go, right when he throws the punch. Boom. There you go, make it a hook. Jab. Cross. Uppercut. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Cross, jab, cross. Cross, jab, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross, right up there. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Hands up. Jab. All right, so now we're gonna get ready for sparring, where everything's open. Head shots, body shots, everything. So with that, you have mouth guard, always wanna protect your mouth, your teeth. You have headgear. There's a bunch of different styles of headgear. My favorite is the nose bar, making sure you're protecting the nose. And we also have sparring gloves. There's bag gloves that are a little denser, a little thicker to hit bags. And then we also have sparring gloves that are a little softer to make sure you're not hurting your opponent. Let's gear it up and get ready. What up, everybody? This is Justin. I am in the black headgear and the yellow gloves. What up? It's Ian. I'm in the blue headgear. We're getting at it. This guy's getting work today. Yep, tried to try to right hand, fell short with long arms, still fell short. <laughs> got, I got the got, reach though. He got a good jab there. He did get me to the body, but see, just throwing that left out. Not a lot behind it. Doesn't look like there's much, but you know what? You got to throw something. You can't just stand there. Look at Ian with those combos. I got that pivot. That pivot. You ain't got nothing on the pivot. Yep. I'm trying to trying to just keep my distance, catch those punches, see what I can. 
Looks like it looks like it might be landing, but I can, I assure you, oh, I'm no, at least it I'm is catching not. some of it. Yep. <laughs> nope. He's dancing. He used to be a break dancer. Thinks he can bring it into the there ring. Nope. It doesn't work it that way. It still works. Blocking everything and anything you bring in. Yep. yep. Got, then we just hug for a little bit. It's good. It's good. Now we get out. You got a good little three piece in and then move. That's what you got to do. Don't let your back hit the ropes. He's got some feints there. Got those long orangutan arms, so I have to be careful. He can hit me from one turnbuckle if I'm sitting in the other. So, you know, you always have to be moving. Always stay nice and tight. Once you kind of come, come closer, elbows in, hands up. Always ready for defense and then can automatically switch back to offense. That, that double cross, I don't know what you're doing, but it does not work. It got you there. <laughs> got you there. It and I nice, missed, slipped it, rolled after. It was like a, like a grandpa squeezing my cheeks. A little bit too on my toes, and so it's not letting me get a lot of you know movement and leverage behind my punches. Just a little critic, self-criticism there. Ian got me with a good jab. I was too straightforward. Blocked, blocked every single one of those. None of those, all those off elbows and gloves. If I'm trying to push back. You, I, you always try to throw the weight. And it's hard. I try, I try to push. I try to get in, and then I got to get out. Yep. Can't hang out in that corner too, yep. too long. Yep, that, that was a good jab right there. Nothing. N miss. <laughs> but then he's <laughs> hopping and bopping. Yep. It's getting loosey-goosey right there. Look at it, just swinging, just looking down and swinging for the moon. And all the punches don't need to be. We're not blasting away at each other. Some, some hits land harder than others. He did get me there. That was the best shot of the round for him. I can feel it. Now he's getting a little hesitant. He's like, I don't upset. know. I can't get in there. I that can't one, get in there anymore. That one hurt my pride a little bit. Ooh, there we go. He didn't like that body shot. You saw that elbow drop. You're all watching the oh, video. Oh, missed it. Oh, that was a good jab. That was another good jab. Get him a neck brace. Saw that snap back. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like when when you get popped a couple times, it's it's kind of hard to either stay focused because that, that your opponent knows that that's coming. But you gotta, you, I, I call it home, drop them right down, elbows in, hands up, staying protected, and go right back to the... Good right hand of the body. Ooh, I don't know what that punch was I tried to throw. Yep. That was dirty. That was ugly. Yes. Ooh. Yep. Super clean right here. I don't even all, know who... Are you talking about missing. me or you? Me. I was talking about me, but those punches you threw just miss. <laughs> and time. When you hear that 30 second, or the 10 second bell, that's when... It starts kicking in. Are you gonna keep moving? Are you gonna keep pushing? When you start getting tired, physically tired, the mental side needs to kick in and stay sharp. Because that's what happens is you're gonna start getting tired and everything starts opening up and it's hard to stay focused every single time you get hit. But if you're not getting smashed and you have a partner that's working, working with you, you're gonna be able to figure it out. This is the end result of jumping into boxing. Starting from shadow boxing, mitt work, bag work, and even footwork, everything leads up into how you're gonna fight in the ring. Let's get it. <laughs> 